What's up, y'all? So it's only been 18 years, but finally, they made it home. Let's talk about it. What's good? What's cracking? What's happening? It's your boy Moves the Alpha, and I am elated to be here right now. Like, when I tell you I'm super excited, y'all, I am super excited. Like, these just got dropped off. We're here to do a first look at the LeBron 4. I literally just had these hit the door, like, minutes ago. I got the camera, the light set up, because I wanted to do this with you guys to get, like, my true and honest reaction, like, when I first opened it. And I'm smiling ear to ear. Like, y'all can see I'm excited about this. We also want to look at a couple of the other speakers that I picked up uh, last week, um, you know, and kind of talk about the deal that I had there. But the star of the show today is nonetheless the LeBron James 4, the Fruity Pebbles. We're going to do a first look at them, what I genuinely believe after, you know, after 18 years, was it worth it? You know, the $250 price tag. But let's get into it. All right, so the first sneaker that I want to talk about is a dunk that released, I believe, in October, November of 2023, so not too long ago. I did pick up the Satin Golden Rod for $60. Shout out to my boy Mike Kicks again. Um, I have been grabbing quite a bit of sneakers from him over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we got connected, as I think I told y'all before in the last video, through um, the Houston Heat uh, Facebook page. And since then, I mean, he and him have been tapping, almost talking like on a daily basis on sneakers and stuff that he has to sit in the basement. And I've been getting some really, really, really good deals from him. Um, I was just really feeling this. I want to say that this reminds me of the um, satin breads, how they don't have any of the preparations in the toe box and how everybody was saying that's why they passed on it. Like, this literally does remind me of just like, of course, the satin breads would have about the Air Jordan hits and, you know, some of the other little details with it. But this is a super duper clean sneaker. Um, I believe right now on GOAT, they are going for about 125 like i said i paid 60 bucks from they're going for about 125 so um, that's a good really good deal for me a, a good steal i should say so yes i did pick these up i'm super excited to have them in my collection like i said it'll go really good with like some of my alpha attire and things like that but yeah i don't really see myself wearing too much black and gold outside of that because including brown and we don't rock with the stiller. but no in all in all seriousness and all honesty yeah, I was super excited to pick these up for the low. Like I said, 60 bucks, you can't pass on that. They're going right now for about 125, so about half off on this sneaker, but super excited to bring it home to the collection and get it stored up. All right, second shoe we're gonna talk about is the Air Jordan 1, the black elephant print. And this is from the 2016 release. Um, originally, this colorway with like the elephant pen with a little bit of hints of red was for a Supreme collab. I believe that happened in like 2002. So I was probably, what was that? Like six years old at the time when that happened in 2002. But yes, um, the Air Jordan 1 High, the black elephant print. Um, you know, I also heard these be called like the Unsupreme because this is actually not the first time I've owned this. I had this when I was a sophomore in college, I want to say. I actually had these in my dorm room collection at that time, but I had it in a nine and a half. Um, I think I remember I told y'all, but I, you know, lost a little bit of weight, got more healthier, and then my foot like shrunk back down to eight and a half, eight. So everything I had to start rebuying. So I was able to get these, I believe for 70 bucks the other day uh, for my boy Mike Kicks. Um, he looked out for me, giving me the sneaker back. They're super clean, like you can get to the bottom. We still, you know, have some life on these. So I was super duper happy to pick this up. Um, you know, I wear this a lot. Now this falls into like my color scheme of what I wear on a daily basis. Black, gray, white, little hits of red. But yeah, so the Air Jordan 1 High, the black elephant print, also known as the Unsupreme, AKA, you know, they're happy to have it in my collection. I'm going to get these stored up for sure today. And last but not least, this last sneaker is actually being featured behind me. As y'all can tell that I'm still salty that I missed out on the eggplant. So I've been trying to make cope while getting as many phone posits that I can back inside of my collection. But I did go back in time a little bit to grab the 2021 release of the Nike Air Phone Posit Pro, the Volt. 
So yes, these did, um, like I say, release originally in 2014. Um, they had a re-release in 2021, um, and that is with this pair is right here, but also got a really, really, really great deal on these two. Again, I believe the day that I picked these up, I picked those up with the uh, with those Air Jordan 1s, um, and I believe I paid 70 bucks for these as well. Super duper clean, as y'all can see the center bottoms, um, the toe box there. I also have like the video of the B-roll rolling on them there, but I think right now this sneaker and my size eight and a half is going for around like 250 right now. So for me to be able to scoop these up for a nice 70 bar, they're going for 250. Once again, you can't pass on that. Shout out to my boy Mike Kicks. This is a really, really cool uh, sneaker. Like I say, any foam posits that I can find these days, if I can get them, of course, in good condition where I can either just clean them up really good or I would like how I prefer to get them dead stock, I will be grabbing those just because, like I say, I'm an Ohio kid, man. Foam posits is always a thing for us. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this foam posit game. But yes, I did pick up the Volt from the 2021 release. Super duper uh, nice shoe. I'm happy to have it in the collection. Happy to bring it home and I'm going to be storing these up today as well. But now let's really, really get into what we really came here for today, y'all. Let's go. All right. Yeah. It's time to get into the star of the show today. Can I get a drum roll? Like, can I get a, can I get a drum roll, please? But no, really. We have the LeBron James 4, the Fruity Pebbles colorway. And when I tell y'all, like, I can't, I can't stop smiling looking at this shoe, like, yo, this shoe is fire. Like, looking at this right now, this is everything that I hoped that this shoe was gonna be. Um, like I say, if you don't know the history of this sneaker, this was a PE done for LeBron James in 2006. And when, you know, when this shoe released, this was like a grill for most people. Literally, all my time through high school, if you were finding this shoe, if somebody really had this shoe, like an authentic pair, they were paying 10 bands. Like, there's no way around it. You had the friends and family, you was paying 10 bands for the sneaker. And to finally see this, like, retro and, you know, for me to actually hit, because I saw a lot of YouTubers were saying, like, yo, I think these are going to sit. If you know, if you, if you want to wait on this, I probably will wait on it. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I thought about it for, like, a half of a second then i said no i've been waiting 18 years for the shoe i paid the 250. this is where you got me at nike like was i sad when i had to pay it like dang y'all really hit me but seeing this in person like this is yeah no this this was worth it i give it to you this was a good 250 cent in my opinion i mean if you ask somebody that don't collect sneakers they'll be like why on god's earth would you do that but Listen, y'all, like, man, this is just so clean. Look at the detail on the bottom of the sneakers. Y'all can't even see it inside of there, but it has the fruity pebbles behind the tongue. It has the family size on there. The material is all there, like, materials and quality-wise. Like, this almost, I mean, everybody likes to call them, like, the foam posit LeBrons, but, like, no, this material is all there. Man, I'm super excited. It has the fruity pebbles going all through. The box will even looks really good. Like, y'all, I'm, I'm excited. Like, I have, I have nothing but good words to say about this sneaker right now. I'm happy. Thank you to all the people that did not like this shoe, the people that was ragging on it. I would never pay that. Thank you. You made it easier for me on Thursday to pick these up. So I appreciate you for doing what you needed to do and staying out of my way because I'm 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 excited right now. I'm I'm good for today. Ah oh, man, this is this is a, this is a great sneaker to have. I don't even know which much to say about it, but as you can see, like this is really my true and genuine like first reaction to having the shoe in hand. Um, you know, people always ask, like, what are you going to wear with this? You know what? I don't know what I'm going to wear with it. It's colorful, but it don't matter. I got it in my collection, so now I can at least figure it out now that it's home. But this is the LeBron James 4. Like I said, I'll, it, of course, I'll have, like, some videos on the side showing, like, of course, the 360, all the sneakers that we picked up today. But um, upon first looks, like, y'all, I'm, I'm super duper excited. Like, even the carbon fiber hits. I don't even know if the camera will pick that up, like, on the bottom, as you can see, going through there, like, the carbon fiber look on the bottom on that shank but y'all man the netting on here man this the quality is all there man nike outdid themselves with this one i'm loving this sneaker i can't wait till i find something to put on man i might just wear like a great nike tech or a great fit with these like ain't nothing too crazy but yes i am super duper excited to have this sneaker in my collection like this really was the start of the day like this made my day made my week i'm super excited about this i just realized too the bottom of there it has the two three on the shoe like that's a two three going and i'm just finding out the little details like i say because this is my first time looking at it as well but yeah man that's this is 
this is the starter show. That's what we came here for. So if I can give this a rating today, this is going to get a 15 out of 10 for me. This exceeded my expectations to finally be able to hold this shoe, to have it, to possess it into my own collection. I can't be more grateful. So thank you, Nike, for finally doing this for people like me, for, you know, true and honest LeBron James fans, fans of his sneakers. I mean, just fans of who he is as a man, as a brand, as a father, all of that. Like, yo, shout out to Nike for doing this for me finally. LeBron James for three pebbles. All right, as we check up out of here today, yo, once again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I believe um, as I'm recording this right now, the uh, Yeezy video, the first look that I did on that video um, is going right now a little bit over a thousand views, which may sound like just nothing crazy, but I mean, to somebody like me that's just getting started, I've been doing this for maybe a little bit over a month, you know, opening up my YouTube app to see that, you know, 1.2 thousand people wanted to view my video or listen to me talk about sneakers or my honest reaction or thought about it, yo. I genuinely appreciate you guys. I cannot say that enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you for clicking in that video. Thank you for watching them. Thank you for even just commenting, even if it's just to say, yo, I hate the shoe. I love every comment. Like, just, just write something down there. Comment down below and just tell me anything that you can think about the sneakers, anything you can think about the content, or if you just want to come by and talk, like, yo, continue to reach out, continue to like, comment, subscribe on all my videos, follow me on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Am I missing anything? Instagram, Twitter, all of those are going to be the same. Moves the Alpha, M-O-O-Z-T-H-E-A-L-P-H-A. -E and again, like, comment, subscribe to your boys. I appreciate you. I appreciate the love. Like I said, I continuously want to keep doing this, you know, week in and week out, day in and day out. I want to just keep grabbing little things to show you guys, like, the value of some of the pickups that I'm doing. So everything's not the $250 cops. You know, some things maybe be me reaching back in time to go a couple months ago for 60 bucks or you know i'll go back a couple of years and get one for 70 bucks that maybe reselling for a couple hundred like you know everything's not going to be about the what's new right now some things on the page maybe old grabs that i'm finding for a deal but with that being said i appreciate you guys thank you for tuning in this saturday i love y'all and i will be back soon peace out